Arts Work Fly. Um, the students, will the students be asked to do a full two day production paper as usual? Yes, they will. Now, what, um, in terms of the requirements for that, it does not have to be a full two day. It could be the exam could be broken up into um, half day sessions. So it could be in each expressive form could be broken up into two three hour sessions and it need not be on the same day. So if it is a challenge to have the students out for an entire six hour period on one day, then that could be broken up into two three hour sessions on two separate days. But they will be required to are you saying indirectly that we could reduce the, the, the time because two, three hour session on two days? Or is it that you would think of extending the time? No, it would be two, it will be two, three hour sessions per expressive form. So if you're looking at two, six hour session, that could be broken up into four, three hour sessions. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. And so this is saying that you, um, students because I was also looking at the whole matter of the social distance so for yeah. schools that may have a larger number of students coming out you we may you would may um, you would need to extend the day um, in that sense where you could maybe have um, a rotation system I don't know if um, CXC was thinking of that in mind so well, it it has always been the practice with exams that the exam could be broken up into two, three hour session um, per, per expressive form, right? So like, for example, if we have students doing ceramics, they may want to do the first part of their ceramic exam on the very first day of the exam period. And they could do that as a three hour session. And afterwards, they could come back um, let's say a week later or so and do the final three hour after the work has been fired and they could come they could come in back to glaze. So they don't need to take the exam from start to finish all in one day. Right? Now that could work because you have an exam period with which the teacher is responsible for scheduling the exam for the students. So if you have a class of, let's say, 30 students and your space, if you have to social distance, will only allow for 10 students at a time, then you could bring in 10 students and on another day, you could have another 10 and do the rotation like that. But that is dependent on your school situation and also the best practice and what you would have experienced in your territory. All right, but based on the requirements from CXC is that the exam could be broken up <coughs> into three hour sessions. Um, this could pose some problem because I've seen class sheets before where um, students have, some of the students may have another CXC subject that um, clash with the right. visual part on so, that time. One of the things that I do here in Trinidad is I encourage teachers to go through the students' timetable and the subjects that they are doing and try to work out the schedule that will best accommodate the student. It will vary from school to school, right? So what might work for your school may not work for Janelle's school. Excuse me, isn't it, just to interrupt a second here, isn't there a three week window where we're allowed to do all exams? Or yes. is that still? Yes. Right. There. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can always know when I upload.